Hello, guys. In this episode I will show you how to create a moving texture shader for the road. Let's go to Blender and create a plain mesh. Go to Item Properties and change the dimensions values. 4 meters for X and 8 meters for Y. This is the size of the road in the game. In edit mode, select the plane face, press U button and choose unwrap. As you can see the UV map doesn't fit the proportions. To fix that, in object mode, select the plane and go to object menu, and apply all transforms. The scale value is 1 for all dimensions now. Select the plane and unwrap again. Now UV map has the right proportions. Export the UV image. Open the exported UV in the image editor, and create a texture. Important. The texture should be seamless. In our case, the left and right edges of the image must look the same. Good. Export the result texture. Back to Blender and apply the texture to the plane. We need it just to take a look. Looks good. Remove the material before export from Blender. Export in Collada format. Open Godot. Import the plane. Just drag and drop the files to road folder. Select the mesh and create a material. Important. We need to choose the shader material here. And then choose visual shader. Now, let's write the shader.
Bam. Cool, isn't? You can play with the speed parameter a little. We will set the actual speed value in script. So here, just left it as zero. Before the scripting, move the road scene to the road folder. Open the road scene, and spawn the road surface with new shader. To make road longer, duplicate the surface scene inside the road scene. Use this old mesh as a background in the front. Adjust Y position to avoid overlapping. Let's check. Good. For our game, the shader speed should be equal to the quarter time in seconds parameter. Go to Road Script and apply this parameter to the shader. Looks good. We don't need to set speed for the second surface scene, because in our case shader is not unique resource, it's shared between these scenes. Let's refactor the code, just give the better names. That's it. Let's test. The speed is correct and follows the speed of the song. Let's add three lines to the road. Very basic for now. Also let's add more lights to the road, we will improve it later. Okay, guys that's it. Let's test the game and finish the tutorial episode.